Alright, hello. So, uh, I got my new Vibram gloves today. Um, just got them. There wasn't really much to unbox. They just came zip tied together inside of a piece of plastic. Like a bag. It wasn't even labeled or anything. Just plain bag. Not Ziploc or anything. Um, so nothing to unbox, but out of the, out of it, the, my initial impression is pretty good. Um, they're surprisingly heavy a little bit. Like when I got the box, we were like, what the fuck? This is pretty heavy for just gloves, but they're they're a little heavy, a little stiffer than normal gloves. But I'm sure you could break them in just like a shoe. So um, these ones are the ones I ordered for like everyday use, tools and yard work, whatever I need. They're the Rigger Cut Five. Um, they had another version that had uh, an oil palm, oil mud resistant palm, whatever. I almost got those ones because they're pretty much the same price, same design, but the palm was a super ugly color. It was like a peachish color, and I just I couldn't deal with that. So I, I sacrificed that little bit of ability for some decent looks. But uh, they're still cut proof apparently, cut resistant to level five, so they should be good work gloves. Um, I punched some stuff, punched the bracing around the door, and then I punched a cement floor just to see how much this knuckle pad protects and it works pretty good like I punched pretty hard I didn't go full strength obviously but you know I put quite a bit of force and definitely saved my knuckles um, so if you bust your knuckles on something this stuff's definitely going to help um, this, this tread is pretty good looking um, it's kind of a shoe texture these ones here I got these winter ones they're still zip tied together um, so that's why it's all dangling. This one's uh, more of a boot texture. This one's more of a shoe texture. Like, I don't know, this one just feels a little more off roady, a little more grippy. But this one's their waterproof one, um, insulated waterproof. So, um, these ones are like twice as heavy as these ones. Like, they're noticeably heavier. Um, they're also a little harder to put on. And they're way stiff. They're very stiff. Um, just like a boot. Nice and stiff. Like this, one. this is like a shoe. This is like a boot. Very stiff. Um, yeah. They seem to get good grip. The grip will on each other. This one doesn't seem to be as grippy as this one. But this one's meant for being a water and cold stuff. So I can see why it's a little more grippy. Um, these ones are way stiffer. For sure. Like... This works out my hand muscles quite a bit just moving my fingers. Um, so they're going to need broken in and I'm going to need some exercise. Um, but I've always wanted a good pair of winter gloves. I've never had a good pair of winter gloves I like. And these definitely seem like they're going to do the trick. And same with work gloves. I've never really had a particular good pair of work or tooling gloves or whatever that I've liked. So these ones should hold up pretty good. They're Vibrams. So, uh... I love Vibram shoes, as you saw in my other video, so I'm, I expect the same quality out of them. I mean, it's combined with Ironclad. If they work with, if Vibram's long to work with them, I'm sure they're just good quality. So these are definitely going to hold up over time, I believe. Um, this is just an initial re impression. I just got them a few minutes ago, so I'll let you guys know how they are time tested, probably. Um, yeah, if anybody has any questions or comments, concerns, ideas, whatever, whatever you got, you can leave it in the comments or not, whatever. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. So, see.